Morning, buddy. How's Gus today? Oh, yeah. Day four of hauling liquid manure. Uh, it, is, it was a rough start to today, that's for sure. I uh, had a little trouble with the first load. But uh, we're going again, and I think we're starting to see the solid level there in the pit. So we're definitely making progress, which is good because it is already the fourth day of hauling. I started Monday, today is Friday. Uh, we skipped hauling one day there completely. So it was just too too wet, too much snow, too much rain. So everywhere is a mess because of the, the snow and the rain we've had over the last couple days. But it's especially a mess by the pit right now, and that is kind of my fault. While that's filling up, I'll show you guys the mess I made out here this morning. Uh, when I went, pulled away from the pump for the first load, I drove out to the field and uh, the hydraulics were a little cold, I guess, which makes sense. I should know about this. And I switched the valve. So the way the pump works is uh, there's a valve in there and it'll either be in the spraying option to agitate the pit. And we can see that now there's a nozzle and that's for breaking up the crust or whatever. It's just kind of aimed into the pit right now. But there's a valve there that I can switch using the hydraulics of the tractor, and I'll switch it to this pipe, and that's how we fill the tank. So you're constantly all day long going back and forth and back and forth. But since it was cold overnight, the hydraulics must have been cold, and I should have held that lever, lever a little extra and closed the valve a little better because it stayed a little bit open and flooded this area with liquid manure while I was out in the field. So uh, I made two mistakes there. I didn't close the valve good enough. And the second mistake I made was not looking back. And now we have this, so that sucks. I mean, the yard was already a mess to begin with, but this makes it just that much worse. And it's really unnecessary. I'll be kicking myself about it until this area is cleaned up again. We'll have to wait till it dries and then we'll come out here, scrape it up with the loader. Um, there's only, you know, maybe 5,000 gallons on the ground. It's 5,000 too many. But uh, it is what it is. Can't pout about it all day. We gotta keep hauling. Just fueling up our bumper tractor right now and uh, making it ready to go for another day. I do think we're starting to see the solids appear though on the far end there. Some ice is starting to stay a little bit higher. It doesn't look like it's floating anymore, so it must be sitting on some manure solids. That means I'm guessing maybe two more days will be done tomorrow night, hopefully, uh, with all the liquid out of this pit anyway. Been pumping all day now. Lagoon's definitely starting to drop down uh, in the corner that we're pumping from anyway. On average though, it's still Probably three and a half feet down. We can already see the solids though, very clearly. Exactly uh, where all the bubbles in front here, that's the liquid and then in the back, the dark stuff, that's all solids. So that's pretty pretty high. Uh, it's because we've been milking more cows, I guess. And uh, if you milk more cows, you're gonna have more manure solids in your pit. weird that was just hanging out from underneath the bottom of the tractor probably check that out it's probably just a bit of belt off of the uh, fan drive belt but check it out so it looks like the edge of this belt rubbed off pretty funny it hung on but uh, shouldn't be no problem unless this starts to chew more of those off and we get a smaller belt constantly and it loses grip but Oh, looks good to me.
day's coming to an end, but uh, Fetter just brought me a treat. Some homemade sausage, I'm pretty sure. It's unreal. I don't even know what the heck is in here. He, he just told me he just took it out of the smoker, so that's really hitting the spot. <laughs> Oh good. So, this is going to be hopefully the last day we're hauling liquid manure and I hope to switch over to the bunning manure spreader so we can start spreading solid manure today yet. But uh, this has been my view for the last couple days. Pretty terrible. I'm sick of it now so I'm going to drive up to the front of the barn and run the fire hose. I just don't want to run the windscreen wipers just because it's going to scratch the windshield with all of the uh, mud and stones and sand on there. So. Also grabbing some fuel. Still not perfect, but for a quick hose down, that definitely improves my visibility. I see the stake in the field here. Kind of spread over it a little bit. We had some seismic testing done over the winter on our fields and that's because we are located right beside a natural gas storage facility and they, every apparently five years they got to come out with a seismic testing crew and they see how the ground is doing underneath. Drove across it quite a bit with a bunch of big equipment so they compensated us for that but they put a bunch of stakes throughout all the fields and I guess that was one of the leftover stakes. I've been looking around and they did actually do a really good job of cleaning up all the stakes. Uh, there, was, there was a whole Loris disposal bin full of stakes when they were done. So, um, you know, if this is the only one I find, I'm going to be really impressed. annoyed yet and this part of the video for some reason right at the end the microphone on my gopro quit working so i'll just narrate the last few bits of it i pulled the tractor and tank up on the scale i wanted to re-weigh it you guys saw me weigh it in one of the earlier videos of hauling liquid manure it was pretty light at 53,000 kgs we pulled up on the scale now 61,130 kgs I don't really 100% know why. I kind of think it's because there was a bunch of foam in there. And uh, now there's also a lot more solids mixed in that tank. A lot more sand, a lot more manure solids. So theoretically, it would be heavier for that reason as well. But uh, eight tons heavier. Showing the empty lagoon there. And uh, explaining how happy I am to be done with hauling liquid manure. Uh, it took, I believe, a total of six and a half days. We didn't get the pit, of course, 100% empty. There's still quite a few solids in there. But uh, at the end of the day, we got it empty enough to where we can do it maybe uh, just the one time with the custom crew this fall or maybe one time in between yet. But here I got some drone shots of the fields and all of the acres that we did cover. Uh, you can see it's kind of weird. I got two halves of fields and then two whole fields in the middle. The reason why I got the two half fields is just because those parts of the field that I didn't spread on were a little too moist yet to get out there and haul a large volume of liquid manure on but yeah that's the the fields covered another big chunk of fertilizer out on the fields another big job done this spring i guess the first one now we're gonna move on to solid manure right away can't waste any time and uh get busy at that i hope to see you guys in the next video and thank you guys for watching